Today I'm visiting Saint Andre, a cute little town not far from Budapest. Saint Andre is roughly 15 minutes north of Budapest, so I jumped on a suburban train to get there. The walk from the train station to downtown seemed to take about 10 minutes. Santendra is known as the city of artists for its abundance of museums. But I sort of stumbled upon here thinking I couldn't leave Hungary without seeing more than just Budapest. So the first thing I did was to head to the main square. It didn't look that high, so I decided to climb up to the highest point in town and take in the view from above. Finally got to the top. The town was super quiet, but as I got closer to the summit, I started hearing more and more children's laughter and wondered what was happening. When I got there, I saw a bunch of kids playing in front of the church, as if all the neighborhood children had gathered here. I kind of regretted not bringing a drone because the view of the town from the top was amazing. But I also didn't want to draw attention with the drone buzzing around. When I headed back down, I took the opposite side of the road from where I came up and got to see the other side of the town. It looked like the other side of the town was where most of the locals made their homes. Sometimes I don't wanna be here anymore But I cannot help this feeling that there's much left to Sometimes I can't help but feel the way I do But when I'm with you, I forget that I ever was so blue I definitely seem to like towns along the riverside When I got back to the town square, there were a few more people around than earlier I walked through the square and headed down to the river bank I saw from a pie. This river merges with the Danube and goes all the way to Budapest. As expected, there were plenty of restaurants lining the river bank. I walked upstream a bit and so a small boat that locals use as a ferry to cross the river. But when I checked Google Maps, I saw the crossing the river to get to the downtown from there meant going through the forest for a while, so I decided to skip it. There were also cruises on weekends that connected this place with Budapest and other tourist spots.
From the stones along the river to this tree over here, many things had been painted, possibly as a way for people to express their wishes. At the beginning of my trip, I used to feel like I should visit as many tourist spots as possible since I've invested time and money into it. But these days, I don't think about that as much. I've just been wandering around seeing whatever catches my eye. Once I felt I had explored the town enough, I looked for a spot to have lunch. I went with the recommended duck breast dish. Since I wasn't going straight home after Hungary, I couldn't add it to my luggage so I had to pass on buying it. But the restaurant owner suggested some great stuff to buy in Hungary. This was the moment when this small town started to grow on me even more. After spending only half a day in Santendre, returning to Budapest felt surreal. I found myself questioning if my time in Santendre was real, as if it had been a dream. <laughs> 